Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Vashon Brown. As the country enters another round of restrictions, private sector companies say they're experiencing business fatigue. The business operators complain that the frequent changes are making it difficult to retain customers and stay afloat. Andrew Lately reports. These notices have become more common lately. Businesses forced to adjust their operating hours to conform with curfew times. Over the past three months, those hours have changed more frequently. President of the MSME Alliance, Donovan Wignall, now admitting that some of his members are wary of the changes. Certainly, most definitely, extreme fatigue would have set in um, right now. Reduced business hours means reduced commerce for the goods and services sector. And those would be very, very um, terribly impacted. Um, we would have seen where the customer customer throughput for those businesses would have almost gone down to nothing. So those sectors definitely um, would be getting and would be having a hard time now. While there's consensus on the direction which the country must take, Mr. Wignall lamented that some firms simply won't make it. Some businesses are going to fail. Um, not all are going to survive. Some have failed already. Not all are going to survive outside of this. For those who are surviving, but barely, um, I don't know for how long they can, can um, keep at it. Um, you would have to say, I would have to say that um, the failure rate is gonna increase as the time gets longer because people's savings, people's ability to um, sustain what, what what they currently have as far as business is concerned becomes more and more difficult the longer we have these kind of lockdowns shutdowns curfews it becomes more and more difficult and we are going to capitulate he's hoping the government can find some way to ease the pressure on msmes while keeping the coronavirus spread under control i'd love to see some kind of respite some kind of um, relief for um you know, the MSME sector, but unfortunately, um, outside of just giving some exemption to um, some businesses, I think whatever is happening is, is more, more than necessary for us to, to really abide by now. The government announced plans yesterday to provide more than $14 billion in support for business, tourism interests, and farmers over the next three years. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. The Jamaican dollar continued to appreciate today. At the end of trading, the U.S. dollar was being sold for $145.91. The Canadian dollar closed at $110.44. The pound sterling is going for $193.20, while the euro is selling for $175.15. The JC index gained 1,545 points today, and the Juno Market Index is up 42 points. Among the winners were Cargo Handlers, G West Corporation, Dolphin Cove, JMMB Group 7.25% preference shares, and First Rock Capital Holdings US dollar shares. On the losing side were Palace Amusement, Epley 8.25%, Caribbean Cream, Main Event Entertainment Group, and iCreate. And that's the Business Day. I'm Vashon Brown. Good evening.